Hey guys, Chris here in Barcelona, and I'm really excited to give you my hands-on and first impressions of this, what I think foldables should have been from the start, and that is a tri-fold screen. It's the world's first, and of course I'm talking about the Huawei Mate XT. So let's jump into it. The screen here, this outer screen, that's 6.4, pretty standard. It's 1008 pixels by 2232. We've got an eight megapixel camera right here and it looks just like a standard phone. However, yes, the thickness, okay, look at this. It's a, it's a little bit chunky. And you notice the weight of it. So weight wise, what is it? Well, 298 grams, which I don't think is bad considering it's a tri-fold. And then we have a thickness here of 12.8 millimeters when it's all closed. Now when you unfold it, it's 4.8 from 3.6 to 4.8. So that's pretty incredible there. And it does down the bottom here take dual nano sims. We've got our type C loudspeaker right here, antenna lines, microphone along the top here, loudspeaker, microphone, IR transmitters even on board. Now the spine of it you see here is a little bit different because we have the other side of the screen, but it's very good. The quality of it has these lines in it. So a little bit of a texture. Cameras are on the back, so quickly I'll go over this. 5.5 times optical zoom camera, it's 12 megapixels, 12 megapixel ultra wide, and this one here is our main camera, 50 megapixels with variable aperture from 1.4 to 4.0, which is excellent. This a leather style to the back of it looks good, very nice, and you see here Huawei Ultimate Design. I think it's a good looking phone and really good build, but let's get on to what I want to test out here. Now, how do we open this up? So you pull on this screen here, it opens like that, then you pull on this part, so on the right side, and you see as soon as it detects it's in a certain angle, it then turns on the screen and you fold it right out like so. And we're presented then with a stunning 10.2 inch, inch display, 120 hertz. Now I've noticed that there's some wasted space here, okay, so they could have Put some more icons along here. Maybe they will change that with the UI. So it is running Harmony OS, 12 gigabytes of RAM, octa-core chipset. It is a Kirin chipset. It's in this. And I will just show you what it's like again to fold. Now, hinge feeling, first impressions, very, very good actually. It feels solid. It feels great, that build quality in it. It gives me confidence to say that it feels like it's going to actually last. Now, of course, we're going to have twice the amount of bends in this one panel in the screen. So time will tell how this is going to hold up, of course. And what concerns me is this part here is exposed. So this could be damaged. And there is a case to fix that particular problem, which I'll quickly show you now. So I like this red color. I've also seen a black, which looks very good. Here's our case. It's got a carbon fiber texture to it. And it has this kickstand as well, which is very useful. So that just goes on like so, clips it into place, and then you'll see that it has that lip there that's going to protect that outer part of the screen where it does fold on the outside. So that's very susceptible and a wise move of Huawei to do this, but note that there's still a bit of area there where potential damage could happen to this. Okay, so it's something to bear in mind. You're gonna have to be extra careful with this phone, very expensive, and I'm a little bit nervous Handling it, I do not want to drop it or anything or break it. And if I didn't mention, that's an eight megapixel camera right there. But I think it looks stunning. And the, the build as mentioned before is, is very good. Now you can do this uh, right here, which is fold only one part, the back, it takes a while to get used to. And then you've got like the foldables you have nowadays, which everyone else has, okay? So we're talking about that uh, Mate X2, their older versions. And of course the Z Fold 6, they're all like this. This is a typical size here of the screen, but then this, pull it out, there we go. We're running through those cameras. So we have an ultra wide, that is 12 megapixels, the 50 megapixel main camera, 5.5 times, bit of a gloomy looking day here in Barcelona, up to 10 times preset. And what I'll do is, let's open it up, of course, why not? It's a tri-fold, how does it handle the case? So very good, I'll go here into the gallery if I could find that, so here we go. All right, that seems to be fine, the, that's the ultra wide. Zoom a little more. That's a three point, sorry, 5.5 times. 
And unfortunately, I cannot put these samples onto my laptop here and show you the originals, but just based on what I'm seeing, I'd say that that quality looks to be uh, average. It's nothing stunning, especially the zoom shots here. They seem to be just looking at them all right. Okay, so that's a quick peek there at the cameras. Now for video, uh, for some reason that's flipped around. Okay, so that's really big. You can hold it like this in the tablet mode, basically, that this does support. So video, I can see we have 1080p, but I want to see if it does support 4K60. So 4K30 is there. And yes, 4K60 is present. So that's great to see. Now, if you've got a keen eye, you would have noticed that uh, there's a lot of Google apps on here. So someone's put on here Google Pay. They've even put Skype there, eBay. Google search, Google maps, and there's a workaround. You can actually put it on this and get it to work. YouTube is there too as well. So all of that is on board here with our Mate XT. It's just a matter of going and using those workarounds, of course, to get everything up and running. Now, Android Auto will not be working on this phone. That is the biggest downside to it. And so far, I have noticed just the UI and everything I'm just doing at the moment here has been very snappy at the 120 hertz. This aspect ratio is very close to 16 by 10. So playing back 16 by 9 YouTube videos right now on it, which by the way, yes, of course works, and you can even run YouTube up to 4K, the resolution I was able to select, you will have those top and bottom bezels. Content like TikTok in portrait mode, depending on what kind of video it is, will take up the whole entire screen, and it does look fantastic. Just like browsing the internet using the browser here, it's of course the whole screen and looks absolutely stunning. It's just like using a normal 10.2 inch tablet. So in the settings now, just having a look at battery. So we've got a 5,600 milliamp hour battery. We have 66 watt wire charging, 50 watt wireless, which is not bad at all. Performance mode, power saving mode, uh, battery half, and you can take a look at other things in here too as well. Reverse wireless charging option, also there, so they haven't skimped on some of those features that you thought that maybe with a trifold that it would have to uh, simply just remove those system updates. I can see there's a firmware update here as well and about the phone. So Harmony OS, the Huawei Mate XT Ultimate Design. Harmony OS version is 4.2.0 and this version I've got has the 16 gigabytes of RAM as you can see there, and the one terabyte of storage. And again, let's look at those creases. Really good. I don't think that's bad. I mean, that's way better than the Galaxy Z Fold 6 from Samsung. These creases are really putting Samsung to shame. And I do have some exciting news that according to certain sources, they say that it is going to be launching the Mate XT from Huawei globally Q1 2025, and that means, of course, you'll have the global ROM. It won't have the Chinese apps on there that are really just for the local Chinese market. So that is going to be great, and I cannot wait to get hold of the global release version later on in Q1 2025. So this is just a stunning device, and it's really amazing what Huawei's done, considering the difficulties they do have. Let's face it, it's not so easy for them nowadays, but they are showing the world that they can still innovate, still lead the pack and bring us this trifold. Now, for me, this is my dream device. I've always wanted this. I've wanted a phone that when unfolded turns into a tablet and it's just over 10 inches and it gives you that true tablet experience, not a weird kind of squared aspect ratio. The screen looks very good. It's stunning, that high resolution it's got. A battery life, of course, I need to test this out. This is just an initial early first impressions with it, but I really do like what I'm seeing, and I can't wait to see more trifolds on the market. And this, of course, is just the first generation of a trifold, and what Huawei's done, I think, is amazing. It's a stunning device, and I'm saving up to buy one. I really want to get one of these. As mentioned, it's a dream device for me. So thank you so much for watching my coverage here. Just an early quick hands-on, I know, of the Mate XT, and I do hope to be able to bring you a full review of this later in the channel.